Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Art Sobchak. He is the founder and CEO of a company called Business by Phone and the author of a wonderful new book called Smart Calling. Art, you wrote the book Smart Calling. Does it mean that cold calling is dead? Well, I agree with the cold part, for sure. There is absolutely no reason for anybody to place a cold call. And there are a lot of people out there that are saying that cold calling is dead, but what they're taking into account also is that telephone prospecting is dead, which is not the case at all. And these people are really preying on the fear of folks that don't want to call somebody that they don't know. And really, who can blame them? Because there's just been a lot of garbage that's been taught over the years about cold calling. And in the book, we talk about smart calling, which shows them how to do it, of course, in an intelligent way and do it effectively. So uh, what is the difference between a cold call and a smart call? Well, a smart call essentially is, number one, acquiring intelligence about prospects, companies, and industries, and situations within the company prior to placing the call, and then using that information in a proven prospecting process that is going to help them gain success on their calls. All right, I totally agree with you because uh, I think that uh, we have entered what I call a conversation economy and it's the quality of the conversation that determines the quality of the relationship. And you are saying, do some research before you make a call. Uh, so what kind of information should salespeople uh, investigate and use on a call? Well, salespeople definitely want information, obviously, on the company and more so about situations within the company. What initiatives do they have going on? What problems are they facing right now? Something that's going on in that prospect's world so that I can immediately grab your attention within the first 10 seconds of that phone call right. and even prior to that, get your attention with voicemail messages. Right. In the book, I talk about a number of dumb mistakes that salespeople make mm -hmm. on their calls, which really causes them to get blown off the phone or or to get ignored. Okay. For example, calling somebody up and saying, hi Gerhard, this is our subject with business by phone and we're a sales training company. I'd like to talk to you about coming out there, meeting with you for about oh, 15 minutes or so, showing you what we do. Would Tuesday or Wednesday be better for you? That yeah. is like 1980s. Right, but it's still being practiced. Right, right. Still being taught. And uh, what would be a better way, let's say you found out that I have 50 salespeople and uh, they need training. How would you approach me? Well, let me give you an example. Let's say I've done some research on you. You're the VP of sales for a mm -hmm. large organization. Mm -hmm. I would have done my research. I would have done what's called social engineering. Social engineering is talking to other people within the organization. I would have done some, or used some of these sales 2.0 tools that, of course, that, that you're talking about to get some background information. And after I've had all that information, I would plug it into my smart calling process. And when I have you on the phone, I might say, hi, Gerhard, Art Subcheck here with Business by Phone. First of all, hey, great article. I see that you had just written for whatever magazine. Right. And I was speaking with some of your sales reps as well as your executive assistant, Patty. And I understand one of your major initiatives for the rest of the year is to get new business. And I also understand you've invested quite a bit in some technology as well as some outside sales training, but a challenge you're running into is actually getting in front of those prospects. Mm. Well, we have a proven system that has worked in many other companies similar to yours, in many cases helping them double the number of appointments that they have set and, of course, resulting in increased sales. I simply like to ask you a few questions to see if we might have the basis for further conversation. I like that a lot because that engages me and it shows that you have done the research on my company and that you're really not making a, a cold call, but you're making a smart call. Well, it, it, it shows that I've taken the time, number one, but also, very importantly, when I can engage you in a conversation where I'm talking about you and what's going on in your world, now I'm setting myself apart from all of the other cold calling salespeople out there who really care about themselves more than they care about you. Mm -hmm. And of course, today, more so than ever, people don't have time for that. Excellent. Well, thank you, Art. We're going to continue our conversation with Art tomorrow where we talk about overcoming the fear of reaching out to a customer with a phone.